Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Subaru BRZ. Before we do that, however, a couple of things. One, this was suggested to me in a comment that I do a build for a Subaru BRZ. So if you're watch if you're that person and you're watching this video right now, thank you very much for the content idea. Uh, and lastly, if you find this video helpful, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the, my channel because uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of great videos like this. Uh, so the Subaru BRZ for 2018. What's new? Real quick, let's let's scroll down the page. Look at a couple of highlights. Real quick. Wow, look at the gas mileage on this thing. 33 highway, 24 city. So I don't know where it comes in on mixed driving, but it's going to be a nice number. Uh, available performance package uh, gives you included Brimble brakes. Good deal. Horsepower up to 205. And the base curb weight is 2,789 pounds. We will compare the models, and we're going to do all that. Matter of fact, I know what we're going to do is we're going to go through this overview. We're going to go over the gallery really fast. We're going to look at the features really quick because these are in-depth reviews. I'm doing these reviews because there's people out here that are looking for these cars. And I want to help you option this car. And so that way you get it just the right way because I see too many cars that are poorly optioned. So we're going to go through the features so we can see what's all included so that way we can make smart decisions when it comes time to building. Then we'll look at the different models and then we'll you know click the build and price. Of course we'll also do the build and price. That's the whole purpose of these videos. Uh, real quick, uh, so we got a few colors to choose from. Real quick what I want to tell you what's new for 2018 before I get going here uh the limited and there's a new ts trim level that's the top level gets a, a new infotainment upgrade for 18 and that's a seven inch screen that features improved functionality integrated navigation android auto and apple carplay and that new ts they're only making 500 of those units so we're not even going to be building that that's a special one i want to build a car i want to build a brz that's just a regular one that somebody's going to hop into and i really think we're going to build a limited because that's going to give us that nice sweet spot i think that's what we're going to get into so uh colors you've got what you've got this dark gray metallic you've got the uh, black silica you've got uh, ice silver crystal white pearl you've got a wr blue pearl and you've got a pure red i guess i could hit the colors too couldn't i yep let's do that real quick mm -hmm. any color jump out at you not the not these dark ones don't really jump out at me that one not really that one does surprisingly i'm not really into the blue cars that one does and then the red one does uh, so let's do a quick drag to spin real fast so we can get the full view i don't want to feel want you to feel robbed if you wanted to take a look at the spin okay so uh the interior you could do a 360 view so this is the black cloth interior and then they have what the black leather and Alcantara version. The 2018 BRZ Limited is shown in this particular picture. Uh, the view to 360 view. Yeah, let's do the 360 view. So let me drag so we can see what kind of what we're dealing with here. We got a couple of cup holders. Looks like a power outlet switch. Looks like some kind of heated and cool seats. Looks like a traction control, and you got some other buttons here. Looks like your push start your heating and cooling your infotainment you know you could see the deal uh looks good let's get a good look around looks good the seats are attractive All right oh seats down All right you can put the seats down okay looks cool All right if we don't like this track view what we can look in the city <laughs> even though we're at the port <laughs> i guess the car just arrived I guess the car just arrived, the car that we ordered. There's Pandora. I guess there's Pandora included. Okay, so let's move it on. All right, so we got that. Uh, we're going to take a look at the gallery up here at this tag. So we're going to kind of skip over that for now. Uh, as far as features, 
Well, let's see. Agile handling, the ideal sports car layout, performance package, sport tuned suspension, low center of gravity, quick ratio steering, and limited slip differential. Oh, I do know that the BRZ is a nicer car than the Toyota 86, although they are similar, just FYI. Now, we are going to look at some of this view handling and features because we're going to go over to this tab here. So we're going to kind of skim over these features, but we're going to take a deeper look when we get over here before we get into the build. Um, and let's see, engineer for performance, you got the Subaru Boxer engine. Uh, that means that the cylinders are opposed. The, the cylinders go side to side. They're laying flat and they go side to side. That's what a boxer engine configuration means. Uh, Porsches are like that too, FYI. Low curb weight, right? It's a light car. You can get an automatic transmission with paddle shifters or you can get this thing with a six-speed manual transmission. And we will look at those features as well. Uh, design for drivers, uh, Subaru Starlink Multimedia. That's going to be the whole infotainment system. Uh, the multifunction display with vehicle performance information. Is that that little screen that's right over here? Kind of, maybe. Keyless access with push button start. We already know the push button's down there. Keyless access is cool. means you don't need to take your key out of your pocket to open the doors even. Uh, LED headlights and taillights, leather wrap steering wheel, sports seating, high quality interior materials. Nice. What they're basically saying is this thing's not like plastic. Uh, the model lineup. So what do we have for model lineups? Uh, this is some accolades the cars had. Um, let's see. You've got the six. You got the premium, the limited, and the BRZ TS. Um, what else? Let's jump over to this features tab real quick, because once we get over to features, then we can kind of compare the models, and then we can get into the build. Because uh, I know that's really what you probably most want to get into. But it's worth noting to go through these features because these are in-depth view reviews. So this says that this is standard on all models. That's worth noting before I even read this. An extremely low and rearward engine placement means you get a sports car with optimal balance, an extremely low center of gravity, light, lightning reflexes, and exceptional rear-wheel drive handling dynamics. The vehicle stability control system features a track mode for even more handling control when you need it. That's standard on every BRZ. Okay. Uh, then there's this performance package. Uh, the performance package will turn your BRZ into a hard-nosed competitor with Brembo performance brakes for supreme stopping power. Uh, whoops, where are you going? Let's come back. Uh, Socks performance dampers. That's the springs, the suspension, the shocks. For superior handling and gray 17 by 7.5 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels right there for an exclusive look now i guess it's going to give us a breakdown of those here's the brembos serious drivers know the importance of powerful brakes that can withstand the that can withstand the rigors of performance driving so you know this is going to help your car st stop better and faster and if you're driving spiritedly which means driving faster and you're kind of hard on the brakes and the brakes start heating up, these are going to be able to handle that extra heat and they're not going to fade, all right? Or they're going to fade, they're going to be less likely to fade at the very least. So uh, they're going to be less fade or more fade resistant. Uh, so you got the Brembo brakes. I think that's cool. You got an upgraded suspension. Uh, so more responsive handling, better ride quality and more stability. Okay, you can never go wrong with that. Not in my book anyway. I'm pretty sure we're going to want the performance package. I don't know what it costs, but we'll take a look at it. And then you get the exclusive wheels, these 17-inch wheels, 10-spoke alloy wheels. Uh, perfect complement, they say. All right. Uh, sport tuned suspension. I guess we kind of... All right, so this is the sport, the, the regular version of the suspension with the McPherson struts and the independent double wishbone, right, on all models. And then they're just reiterating that low center of gravity again, the stuff they just mentioned up at the top of the page, really. Uh, here's something different, though. Quick ratio steering and a limited slip differential. All right, let's read. An ultra-quick 13.1 13 to, 13 to 1 steering ratio provides instantaneous response to driver input and an outstanding feel for the road. And the Torsen limited slip differential provides both improved grip and predictable behavior even when pushed to the limit. That's also available on all models. See, that kind of stuff is telling me they really want this to be a sporty car, even if you get the base model. 
And that's when you know they really want it to be a sports car. And I think that's really great. Engineer for performance. Let's read a little bit more about this engine. So it's a two liter naturally aspirated. What that means is there's no turbocharger. There's no supercharger. That's what normally aspirated means. It has no power adder. Uh, it's tuned to provide up to 205 horsepower, combining balance with power and efficiency. Direct and port injection technology provides more than 100 horsepower per liter, while the dual active valve control system optimizes valve timing for maximum response. Okay, so you get the same. That same basic motor is on all models. Got it. Low curb weight, we got that. We already got that with the paddle shifters. We know about the transmission. So they're really kind of being redundant here, but it was worth going over. Let's read just a little bit more about this Starlink Multimedia because we have not gotten any information on this. So the Starlink Multimedia system with standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Pandora, uh, plus Sirius XM and All Access Radio is newly available on the 2018 BRZ. Uh, wireless pairing and hands-free smartphone operation allow for safe and easy connection to your favorite apps and content. Access news, navigation, music, podcasts, audiobooks, and more through available Starlink apps such as iHeartRadio and Yelp, plus dual USB ports and a built-in voice-activated navigation system powered by TomTom are now available. Okay, that's good stuff. Good stuff to know. Multifunction display with vehicle performance information. So it was right there where I said it. You can see there's got you got a readout here. Looks like you get a little digital speedometer. That's cool. I love that stuff. Performance gets smarter with a 4.2 inch screen integrated into the instrument cluster, incorporating driver information like digital G-force meter and lap time. That's standard on the limited and the BRZ TS. It's nice that they break that down for you so you know before you even get into the build. Uh, keyless access with push button start is on the limited and the BRZ TS. It is not on the base model. Um, the LED headlights and tail lights is that standard. The LED tail lights, or headlights and tail lights are standard on all models. If you want the LED fog lights as standard, that's got to be the limited. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go with the limited, but let's finish going through this. Leather wrap steering wheel, we know about it. Sports seats heavily bolstered means that they have all that that side uh you know the sides come out a lot so that way if you're driving fast you corner hard you don't slide out of the seat the seat holds you there because it's got that bolstering on the side to hold you there that's on all models high quality interior that's on all models uh okay I think we did it all let's uh let's build it oh we're not ready for that let's let's hit the back button and let's check out the models really fast no we don't want to do the feedback not right now anyway hang on a second okay i needed to refresh the page so now we're on the model so find the brz that's right for you that's what we're going to do the 2018 brz models compare the br we're not going to compare it to the other cars toyota mazda mini and others we're just going to look at them together or against each other so here's the premium that starts at basically 25.6 you get 29 highway, 21 city. It includes these key features. It's not all the features. It's the key features. Sport tuned suspension with limited slip diff. 205 horsepower motor. We get the Subaru Multimedia. We just read about that. It gets the LED headlights. Gets a rear spoiler, leather wrap steering wheel, and shifter handle. Okay. Now the limited was the one that I'm most interested in because this TS down here is the limited model. And I think that's cool, but this is the these are the models you're going to see on the road most often. So the limited starts at about eh, about three thousand dollars more, um, and it gets better gas mileage. It gets better gas mileage. Uh, it includes all the features of the premium, plus oh the performance package with Brembo brakes. Okay, we're in on that with Saks shock absorbers are available uh subaru starlink multimedia right standard uh alcantara leather trimmed upholstery perfect because i want the leather i don't like cloth interior keyless act okay they're throwing everything at you automatic climate control and available six-speed automatic so they're making it seem like can you not get an automatic in the premium because they say available six-speed but who knows uh we're gonna look at the specs in a minute before we do the build and then finally just because the brz ts it gets the worst gas mods because it makes, well, probably it's the most sporty. 
It gets the standard high-performance suspension. It's all STI stuff, basically. Uh, STI wing, STI strut, uh, front strut bar, and lower cross member. Uh, so it gets a lot of suspension stuff, really. So the, the STI stuff is suspension. It's not so much horsepower as it is suspension. So let's compare the specs, and then we'll do the build, okay? Um, so the premium, we can see what's the key. The black means it's standard. The circle, uh, open circle, means it's optional. Uh, and then not equipped is the line. So the premium, you can't get an auto. Yeah, you can't get an automatic transmission in the premium. You can't get the leather uh, Alcantara. You can't get the keyless access or the cl dual zone climate control uh, or the Brembo brakes. So yeah, I mean it's really it's really letting us down on that. Let's let's just look at the engine and chassis, and then we'll go to the build. All right, I just wanted to see what the numbers were. So 205 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, and then you've got 156 horsepower, but you got to rev the heck out of this motor, right, to get that to get to that 156 pound-feet of torque. And even if you get the 200 horsepower trim, it's the same deal. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to look at. All right, let's jump into the build. That was enough spec. Let's build in price. We know that we're going with the premium. <laughs> uh, we're not doing those. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on a sec. There it is. The BRZ. Let's build it. Okay. Uh, we're going with the... I'm sorry. It was the limited that we were going with. So we're going to build the limited. And that starts at 28445 Build. Okay. All right. So start your build. All right, details. What do we want? The transmission. Um, this has to be the automatic. They don't tell us anything. I'm assuming that's the automatic transmission. Yes. Okay, now the words have come there. All right, six-speed automatic transmission. That's $1,100. I think it's well worth it. I think it's really great to still do a six-speed, and if you want to be super sporty, and you can drive stick, and you want to do all that, and you can save yourself $1,100. But I think for most people, the six-speed automatic is going to be the way that most people are going to option their car. So now we're sitting at, what's our total? 30405 Real quick, we can get some other angles. So interior, okay, exterior, uh, front angle, side angle. All right, just to take a quick look. All right, let's scroll down and see what we want for colors. Now, I don't think I want to do the black. I didn't really f feel the gray metallic. I think the ice silver is kind of cool. The red's cool, but I've been doing kind of red cars lately. Um, the crystal white pearl is cool. But you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's do the uh, WR. Uh, is that World Rally Racing or something? WR? I don't know what the WR is supposed to stand for. The blue pearl, though. Let's do the blue pearl. Um, it's a no cost option. Uh, we're going to do, we get the black leather Alcantara that's standard on this car. Uh, there are no packages because this car already comes standard with loads of features. And if we need to look at those features again, let's double check them. It does, the list doesn't seem that long and I'm not going to look at, I'm not going to mention every one of them. So if you need to pause the video to, to see all this, then just pause the video. So it's got the 205 horsepower motor. Um, it's got that limited slip diff. Uh, it's got the track mode, the traction control. It's got all the goodies on it. It's got the Brembo uh, setup. It's got the LED fog lights. Uh, everything, really. It really does have everything. Uh, let's see. Front headroom, leg room, shoulder room in the front. 54.5. That's pretty respectable for a pretty small car. That's respectable. Um, let's see, Alcantara, yeah, we got that, analog speedometer, blah, blah, we got that, digital odometer with dual mode trip function, I thought there was a digital speedometer, but, uh, I saw there, but maybe not, um, okay, so, are we getting all this, like I said, feel free to pause, all right, so, lots of features with this car, so, there are no packages to get, because it basically comes loaded, it basically gives us everything, for $600, however, do we want the kicker-powered subwoofer? Let's get the details. Um, 
Provides powerful deep bass and also assists in clean sound reproduction from all vehicle speakers. Uh, yeah, we want this. It's just 600 bucks. I bet you could get this uh, at the dealer after the fact, after you buy the car. But let's just go ahead and option it with that. 600 bucks. Let's throw it in there. Uh, what else? Do we want the auto dimming mirror with compass? Yep, we do. Do we need the cargo tray? <laughs> Probably not. Do we need the footwell illumination kit? Um, we don't need it. Do we want it? We might want it. We might want it. Let's throw that in there. Do we want the STI style wheels? Mm, yeah, we want those wheels. Mm -hmm, we do. Are they going to change the wheels on the car? Nope. That's unfortunate. But we want them. Do we want the under spoiler? Yes, we want that as well. Boom. We want that. Let's read the details just in case you want to know more about that. Continue the ground hugging look down the rocker panels. The rocker panel is this whole area here on every vehicle. Uh, kit includes both left and right under spoilers. Includes STI logo. Awesome. All right. And what else? What do they got from multimedia? What's included here? All right. We already did that. Comfort and convenience. What's there? The ashtray. No. No. Uh, I thought we did the auto dimming mirror with compass already. Where was that at? Auto dimming mirror with compass. 356. Why is this one 356? And then this one's 240. Okay, there it is. What's the difference? With compass. And this one says with compass with what? Let's look at the details. Compass with home link. There it is. With home link. This upgraded auto dimming mirror detects glare and darkens automatically to protect your vision while featuring an 8 point digital compass. Three, oh, the home link buttons can be pro, uh, programmed to operate most garage doors. Yeah, I think that stuff's cool. So, yeah, that's worth the extra money to get the home link. Cigarette lighter, no, no, no. We don't need any of that stuff. Vehicle protection and security. Is there an alarm system? No. Battery warmer. Car cover. I might be interested in a car cover. I might be interested in the bag for the car cover. Yes. Engine block heater, no. Fog light kit. Arc. What is that? Ours is standard with that, so we don't need to worry about it. Rear bumper applique. That is this little piece of plastic here so you don't scuff up the edge of your car. Because I'm one to pick my stuff up over my bumper, so I don't drag things over my bumper. But if you know you're one of those people that drags things over your bumper, then you're going to want this bumper applique for $98. Let's get it. And it doesn't look bad. Let's get that. Uh, do we need the roadside emergency kit? I don't think so. The severe weather companion? I don't think so. The wheel locks? Yeah, why not? Let's get the wheel locks. What do they got for style here? Uh, fuel door cover in chrome? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's let's go the whole nine. Yeah, let's do the fuel door cover in chrome. We already got that. Oh, the rear bumper diffuser for seven ninety five sold. The LED upgrade dome light, sold, right? Um, STI brand. What STI stuff? We already got the wheels. Let's do the front splitter, right? I call them splitters. They call them spoilers. You say tomato, I say tomato, right? That kind of stuff. All right, that, that, we got that. The rear quarters, we like that. They got cool stuff. You can, we're making it sporty. We're spending the money, but we're making it sporty. What's this stuff? Okay, what's this stuff? All right, that was just everything not grouped together. All right, so we can roll that up because that's just going to add unnecessary space. All right, so we've gone through. We've optioned this whole thing. We already looked at the standard features. We just did that. So what I'm going to do is scroll down. Oh, we're right to summary. I'm going to save this build. See, you can print this, and I can save it as a PDF. And so I'm going to save it as a PDF, and I'm going to upload it to this site that I like to use called Mediafire. And then I'll upload the PDF, and then I'll give me a link. And then I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can download this spec and this build if you like it. And if you want me to do another build while you're watching this, just leave a comment below, and I'm happy to do a build for you, just like I was happy to do a build for the person that asked me to do this car. All right, so summary. Base price on this car was 28445 Destination and delivery, if you're not sure what that is, that includes handling and inline freight fees and varies in some states. That is $860. We spent $1,100 to get that automatic transmission. We did the blue 
And because we had the premium, that came with the black leather and Alcantara. So we didn't pay any extra for packages because there were no packages to get. Uh, the accessories, however, we did spend $53,000 or $53,000, $5,300 and change in accessories. And I guess we're going to look at them right now. This car came standard with the fog light kit. If we look at it from the front, right, there's the fog lights, right? Uh, we spent three fifty six on an auto dimming mirror with compass and home link. We got a car cover, car cover bag, footwell illumination kit. We got the fuel door cover in chrome. We got that kicker subwoofer. We got the LED dome light. We got the rear bumper applique. We got the rear bumper diffuser. That goes in the back down there by the exhaust tips. We got the STI wheels. That set us back a couple of bucks. We got the ST, and then we got all the STI uh, body kit pieces, right? The under spoiler in the front and the rear and the side. And then we finished that off with some wheel locks. So we took that base price of $28,445 and we blew that up to $35,741. But you know what? We got a really great uh, BRZ. And even if you don't like it in blue, it's easy enough to change that color and you've got a great BRZ regardless of the color. So there it is, 2018 Subaru BRZ. That's one for the books. It's done. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining or both. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.